Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your main boy Josh here, back with another video for you guys. And today, it, again, it's just what I picked up when I went to Beckles with my friend Sapphire. So, about twice a year, three times a year. There's not many shops there at all, not much to do there, but it's just so peaceful there. And like, we really like the weather spoons there, so we just go there as a little trip. So, we just eat lunch, I just look around a few shops, just something to do. We've done it for quite a few years now. So, yesterday, we had, uh, we had a trip to uh, Beckles we just went to as well and they actually had quite a few bargains as well we picked up in Superdrug, in Laura Ashley, Morrison's and also Tesco picked a few bits up in as well so yeah so I've got chewing gum in my mouth it's probably really really rude but my tooth had a little bit so I thought it might ease the pain away probably won't anyway so I'll first of all show you what I, what I picked up in Morrison's so yeah, I'll show you first of all. Down there, sort of sale, sort of part as well in there, they just had some sale wrapping paper and they had for Christmas. So this is 60p, normally two pound. Honestly, how cheap. So I picked up two 60p ones, normally two pound. And they were five metres each in there as well. And just put them in your storage cupboard so you have them there ready for next Christmas. Because it will come around super, super quick. And also, at Christmas time, wrapping paper can be really, really pricey. Then also, we picked up some wrapping paper, 10 metres. And this will probably do for my nephew sort of thing because it's quite kiddish sort of one as well. 50p, that is incredibly cheap for wrapping paper. And my friend, she picked up a few in there as well. I was like, that is just perfect to put away for Christmas. So honestly, get yourself down there. And the rest of it is just food that I picked up as well and drink. And Volvic have a few new flavours out as well. And I don't know if I've said it on my channel, but I've said it when I've been out with friends. The watermelon natural flavour sugar free is their best flavour they've ever, ever, ever done. It tastes incredible, honestly. And they had this huge bottle in there for 70p. Honestly, you really should try the flavour because I'm not just saying it. It tastes amazing. When it's cold, wow. Damn, that is nice, nice stuff. Honestly, amazing. In the morning before I go gym because I'm, I've started again because as I said in my previous videos, I've had two weeks off over Christmas. So I've started gym again. And so in the morning when I'm in a rush and I'm trying to get gym in the morning before work and everything, I always have like a banana, a cup of coffee and a graze bar so all these run out and they had them with, like in there in the sale for £1.50 you get four mini protein bars and they're the coca and vanilla one and I live by graze I just love all their products they taste amazing they also had the banana and oats one in there not really fond of them ones but they taste amazing pick them up also I love the Yoshi um range in there as well so i picked up the barbecue flavor for myself and what i do with these is literally like i'm old before my time i bought these tiny little snack bags from tiger so just to have enough like as a little snack as a crisp i just put a few in each snack bag each time as well and these were in sale or reduced to a pound in there then as a cup of soup i love the naked again i just love everything i'd literally just got so much love to give to everyone the naked noodle soup fit my knees beef foo one that was a 45p and honestly they taste amazing love them then picked up the kabutu noodles in chicken ramen so that one and they were what that was one pound fifty in there Again, and I always just pick these up things up for lunch because it's so convenient in the morning just to grab in your bag. They don't take long to cook because I just, you know, I always have a really good mindset that, oh, you know what, I'm going to do like really, like I'm going to cook the night before for my lunch. I just never get around to it. So I always just end up buying a cheeky meal deal and I just need to start saving money more. So I picked up one of these. Also, um, I love a bit chalky. And I love dark chocolate as well. And they had 90% less sugar. Choco Logic is the brand. No added sugar. These these ones as well. And they are £2. So they are quite expensive for a button. But honestly, I cannot wait to like, taste them. And if you want a cheeky treat as a bit of chalky, then I think 
There's your answer. Also, just picked up two chicken and herb super noodles. There was 50p, 50p each in there. Then my mum loves the Brick Vic tomato juice. So picked up four individual mini cans of them. They're 62p each. Again, some more graze bits. These were reduced to 30p each, which is so cheap because these are like £1.20 each. The peanut butter graze ones. So you get a cheeky bit of peanut butter in the corner and just like some little kind of sort of breadsticks in there as well. I think I bought three packs. I picked up all the ones that were on the shelf. Yep, there they all are. Then my favourite like sort of crisp savoury thing greys have out are the smoky barbecue ones. So these, they had two packs in there reduced to 45p in Morrison. So I picked up them as well in there. Then for like a cheeky dessert, this is 40% less sugar. Clark's totally chocolatey dessert topping. This is quite expensive as well. It's £2.20 or £2.10. And that was in the sale as well in there. But actually, I'm think I'm... I've remembered rightly. This I didn't buy from Morrison's. It's from Tesco. So this one I bought from Tesco. Sorry guys, my brain is all over the place. And me, I never keep receipts. I just literally like, I don't even probably take them from the shop. I just leave them on side. Then I know I bought these from Morrison's actually. They two for £3.50 in there. The John West Lunch and Go. So I bought the Thai style salmon one. Ooh. Damn. I did not know they had salmon. I just thought it was all tuna ones. Oh my god, they have salmon ones in there as well. I'm mega buzzed now. Oh my god, I've got the Thai style salmon one and the Mediterranean style tuna one as well. Wow, I just assumed, because it all just looks the same. All this, oh my god, smashing their little tuna up. It all just looks the same on the front, literally, like, damn. I'm mega happy about that. My mum's going to try and, like, probably trade one with me. And give me a tuna one. She can keep her tuna one. <laughs> then picked up a tin of cheese ravioli. Although my mum isn't very happy about it as well. I thought she ate ravioli. But apparently she doesn't. So she's like we've got a tin of ravioli with nothing to do with. So if anyone wants a tin of ravioli. Comment below. Ravioli and you can have it. There you are. You're going to have a cheeky little tin of ravioli. And then, honestly, this light condensed milk is heaven on top. I always do it with, like, meringues and strawberries. And instead of having the full fat cream and stuff, this is the light one. But honestly, it's £1.72 or something in Morrison's. But it tastes an absolute dream come true. Oh, my God. I love it so much. And so does all my family. We all love that stuff as well. Like, I just want to go to the fridge when it's in there cold and just put a spoon in it and it's like put it in my mouth it's like heaven oh god so yeah that is oh no actually one more thing i bought from tesco these ones were as well i didn't buy much from tesco because it was kind of shit in there they had more morrisons than what they had in tesco just picked up five single bags of lightly sold crisps uh, and then my mum likes the kettle crisps and they were 89p which is really really cheap then also went into obviously Tesco and they had this huge Domino sauce. Normally we don't even pick them up because we do normally make our own sauces for all the bolognese and everything as well. But they were so, such an amazing price in there as well. The family size, 750 grammage, onion and garlic bolognese sauce, a pound. That is mega, mega cheap, honestly. So I picked one of them up as well. And I'm going to get my little speciality cooking skills out in the kitchen to make us a cheeky bolognese soon. Even though I'm so sick at making my own homemade sauce as well. But just easy and convenience. Picked one of them up. And went into... I'm sorry guys, I'll probably get like sludged on this, like, on this video. But I really do not like being them um, a single ounce at all. I'm a home bargains guy. Always will be. I just think in home bargains, everything's laid out so much nicer. The atmosphere just feels more brighter and everything. Whereas in B and M, for me, their tills, I'm going to be really hated here. But I've got to be honest because I want my channel to be honest. 
they look dirty. I film like my feet stick to the floor in there, like it just feels like really sticky. I just feel when I pick their products up, up off the shelf as well, it just feels really dusty. And all their shelves look yellow. I just think, I just think being um, like, they might have good products in their store, I'm not saying they haven't. I just think they need to update their store. That's in all of them I've been to. But my friend wanted to go in there, so I was like, yeah, I'll go in there with you, that's absolutely fine. Because I don't normally go in there. I'm, as I said, I just, I'm repping home bargains because I think they're just, they're better in my view. And um, I just feel in being there as well, their staff are really, really rude in there as well, which everyone I've been into, I don't know. And their prices are always wrong in there as well. Like, they always charge you more than what's in front of there. And I know it's, it probably ain't, ain't even much more they try and charge you, but it shouldn't happen. Like, God, there's two gums that getting caught in my mouth. Like, um, they had these more Domino sauces as well. And... So, two, like, in front of it, it said, two Domio sauces for a pound. And on the, also sign as well, because I work, I work in retail as well, and I, so I know about all the signs and stuff, and it said 750 grams on the label. So, it's the giant ones, right? And I said to my friend, because she was picking a few bits up in there as well, um, I guarantee you they do not go for it two for a pound. And she's like, yes, yeah, well, why would it work? Because I'm like, B&M always make pricing errors all the time. And went to the till, what happened? I know it went much dearer. They went for it two pack, two for 150. And I was like, they, I was like, I was, I'm a very, very polite person. I'm not to say myself. I am really polite. I was like, oh, sorry, that just says two for a pound in front of it. And I got the deathliest stare ever, honestly. Like, I thought he was going to kill me. I'm not even just saying it. And then he just turned around to the other till as well. And it was getting quite busy in there, so I felt a bit bad holding the queue up. But he turned around to his colleague and was like, he's literally, he, he was like, oh, he said they're two, four pound. And then she literally gave me a death stare as well. And was like, that's for the small ones. And I was like, oh, no, sorry, they said there's 750 gram jars on it. And she just didn't say anything back, just carried on serving. And then... The man just turned around and stared at me and was like, I'm just have to get a manager. I was like, that's, that's absolutely fine. Like, I'll stand to the side if you want to continue serving. He just literally said, no. Blah, 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 blah. Manager come over. He didn't do anything. He just scanned his card and walked off. And the man was like, oh, that's £1.50. And I was like, but I've, they're a pack two for a pound. So why am I still paying £1.50 for him? And he's like, oh, yeah. <sighs> turned back around to another colleague and was like, where's he gone? Where's he gone? And she was like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. And then I was like, oh, my God. I would, if I knew it was going to cause this much drama, I would not have got, the, like, the sources. And then the third till across, the lady was like, I'll come over when I stop serving. I was like, cool. Just looked at my friend was like, do you mind waiting? She's like, no, it's fine. And um, waited for about another three minutes. she come over, didn't say anything to me, just literally gave me evil stares, honestly, like, that she was thinking, oh my, she'll probably think, oh, you low life, can't pay an extra 50p. It's not the extra 50p at all. It's just the fact is you should not be pricing it up wrongly. Like, you're the ones making the error by putting two, four pound on there. And honestly, she changed it and like put a card through and everything, scan her card and it comes two, four pound, scanned it. And honestly, me and my friend, we just walked out. And you know, like when you have like a cheeky little stare back and stuff, the both of them were just staring at us, honestly. There was like iron stuff. I thought it was going to come and grab the Domino sauce back off me or something. They were just like iron stuff out the store. And you just know they were probably just like saying nasty stuff about us. But who won in the end? I did because I got my two sauces for a pound. But you're the one making the error. So honestly, from that experience, I will not be shopping in, in B&M ever, ever again. I'll be home bargains continuously. I'll probably go in there at least three, four times a week. But with B&M... You're not getting my custom back anymore because your prices are always wrong. Staff were incredibly rude in there as well. And I just think you need revamping because your store is a bit dirty in my view. But yeah, please don't hate me guys. But that's just we all like different things in life. But yeah, that's my little B&M story for you guys. Stick to home bargains. Right, so that's what I picked up in there. Also, sorry, got to compose myself now because I just have that man glaring at me in that in my face again 
So we picked up quite a few bits of soup drug as well and they had an amazing, amazing like sale in there as well. And not just that, they're doing 20% off for students as well. And it is really, really cheeky of me. I don't know if I should say it on it because I don't want like it to stop. But I had, obviously, as you are aware, that I graduated last year. And so technically I'm not a student anymore. But my uni date doesn't run out until 2020 or something. Because I updated it before I graduated. So I thought cheekily getting in. So all this stuff, I got an extra 20% off as well. Honestly, head down to your local soup drug because it are incredible, incredible stuff. And you can always put away as cheeky gifts for your friends, family and loved ones. So yeah, let me show you what I picked up in there, shall I? They had Makeup Revolution huge palettes. The face palette. And they have... How many colours do we have on them? Over 40 shades on them as well. So that one they have on there. Honestly, they don't say the colours of what they have, but I picked up three of these ones. And they're normally, I think, I think they said they're normally £20 or something. And I think, I can't remember how much to pay because I said don't keep receipts, but it was an amazing, amazing price. To pick three up, it obviously was. And I got an extra 20% off them as well, like... That cheered my day up when I went into sleep job, to be honest with you. And in the one in Beckles, I can't remember her name, but she had brown hair. And she was um, really, 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 really friendly. Like, she was so nice. Like, she kept speaking to me. She was talking to me about all the products. And she spoke to my friend. And even though there was, like, a bit of a queue forming as well, she was like, oh, did you see this? And um, that has just recently gone down. And she actually took me off, took herself off the till and showed me it. And I was like, oh, thanks for showing me it. I don't need it and everything and honestly she was so friendly so thumbs up to the Beckle store because you are the nicest soup dog I've been into in a long time so yeah great great service from that one also picked up these Mickey Mouse she eye mask so that one then we picked up two Snow White apple she eye masks as well Then picked up also these Snow White Apple Lip Balm Duos and you get two in there. So picked up two packs of them. Still got another whole bag going guys. I felt so bad when she was scanning it all because the queue was, there was queue was like about five people in the queue and like I turned my knee because I see I was getting really aggy about waiting but I was like sorry I really want all these stuff. Then I picked up some Real Techniques. Limited edition slay in it party eye and flawless finish set. So that one as well. Picked up two of them. And you get a buffing brush, another brush, uh, a base shadow brush, a confetti bag, and a fan brush as well. So you get four brushes and then you get a, a bag in there to put them in as well. So yeah, honestly, and I think they had a few other real technique bits, bits in there as well. So honestly, it is worth a trip down to your super dry because you will not be disappointed. Then um, my mum has like a few like gentlemen friends. That's what she calls them. I don't know why she's so oh, so annoying when she says that. So she bought the well, she didn't buy. I picked it up for her the brute aftershave and deodorant set, celebrating fifty years of it. I'm not, I'm not slagging it off, but I don't like brew. I think it's like an old man sort of aftershave. Please don't slander me again. But yeah, I knew my mum would want it. So, and it was a really, really great price in there as well. And then I think this is the last thing that I actually bought in there. Um, a Bayless and Hardin for him set. And it's shower gel and hair and body wash. And the... Flavours are black pepper and ginseng and um, in both of them as well. And that's a really, really great present to give to someone. So yeah, that's everything that I picked up in Superdrug. Then there they have a really nice Laura Ashley. And the thing I like about it in that one, it was like there weren't many people in there. It's just so nicely laid out. Everything is it's so clean. It's so bright in there. Only thing I didn't like about it is literally me and my friend just kept getting like stared at for some reason in there it's like i don't know why they're staring at us like we're not going to nick anything like we can buy it. we can buy it and afford everything 
kind of not in a big head way or anything, but we can in the store. So I don't know why you're like staring at us for just because we're young, maybe I don't know. But yeah, so picked up a few bits in Laura Ashley. First of all, picked up three sparkly pairs of socks. And they were amazing price for them as well. And they're not actually, I didn't actually buy them, but I knew that my mum would have wanted them and she would always like buy stuff like that as little stocking bits for people. Them. Also picked up these parrot coasters as well. I mean, look at the price on that stuff as well. And again, my mum will always put these stuff away as presents. So even if I didn't want to buy it, I knew she would have bought it off me because she'd be like, that is a really, really great price and, and it's a lovely quality gift. Then also picked up this men's travel set. I didn't even know Laura actually did stuff for men, so it must be quite new in there, is it? Shower gel, shampoo and an aftershave balm as well. I mean, look at the price of that one for such an, a lovely, lovely set as well. Honestly, they have a really, really great sale in there on a lot of their bits. So get head down again to your Laura Ashley if you've got one near you. Or even look online, although most of her stuff is sold out online. But yeah, great stuff. Then putting these bad boys away already for next year. And the great thing again is the money went to charity. These They went to some, I, I never, Mary Curie, Mar, Marie Curie. I never know how to say that for some reason. Charity, the Christmas cards. Then I picked these up for definite because I have a like an older lady friend. I in sixth form she did like, she helped me teach like she taught me stuff as well, and so she's like one of my teachers in sixth form, and we've just kept in contact. Like she she's such a lovely lovely woman honestly, so nice. So as one of her presents for like her birthday or something, I picked her up some tea towels. Then, again, I know my mum would have want these. She picked up, well, I've got them for her. Why do I keep saying she? Just because, like, she honestly always buys stuff. She buys more than me, and I get told that I'm a shopaholic. Not as bad as that woman, honestly. These cufflinks. And they have a little penguin on them as well. Look at the price on them bad boys. And then just one more thing that was picked up from Laura Ashley. This checked purse. Look at the price of that and look how much it was and my mum has bought this because she knows she has like a um a friend that she can give it to who will absolutely love it so yeah great great stuff so that's everything that was purchased from laura ashley so so yeah that's everything that that i bought from laura ashley so that has come to the end of this video hope you have enjoyed it also, please don't think I've been mean about any stores because it's just my view on B&M because I love every other store that I've done in this video. It's just B&M for me. It's just, is it my store? But please do not send any hate towards me. It's just, I don't like that store. Anyway, and I'm wearing this t oversized t-shirt from ASOS, my lovely favourite brand, and also this Tommy Hilfiger cap. So yeah, I'll link all that in below for you guys as well. Please don't forget to give the video a massive thumbs up. Comment if you enjoyed the video as well. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Turn that little ding -ling thing on so you get notifications when my video is up. Also, enter both my giveaways as well. It One was a Christmas giveaway, but I got like four comments on it and I need more. I need a minimum of 50 of your full names on there as well. So all them videos will be linked below for you guys. I'll see you really, really soon, guys. Bye.